making the news. Of course, uh, it's kicking off uh, with the EFF refusing some media to attend. And of course, the EFF aims to answer the whole uh, weekend about it. And of course, the ENCA deciding to also pull out in solidarity with that media. And of course, we'll be talking about that and many other issues. Of course, the big issues uh, with political parties generally is who funds them? Who gives them money to survive? You know, and so when the Treasurer General is elected, of course, those are some of the questions that you'll be able to answer. Of course, my guest tonight, uh, Umpile Mantue, who is the newly elected Treasurer General, uh, is going to be talking to us here as a newsmaker. Fighter Commissar Umpile, congratulations. Thank you, JJ. Um, thank you for having me yeah. here. Good evening Absolutely. to your viewers at evening home. To you. it's, a big, it's a big responsibility in any organization uh, to is. actually be holding the purse strings. How do you feel about that responsibility and why do you think you are ready and geared to take on such a big task? Indeed, uh, JJ, it's a big responsibility. Um, particularly for the third biggest political party in the in the land, so mm. it comes with a lot of responsibility. Mm. But we we get up for it. I I think uh, the EFF, including the delegates that saw it fit to nominate me for the position of the Treasurer General, mm. is because the EFF prepared me for this. Mm. Um, I was a Treasurer of Gauteng, um for four years. I served my okay. term. Prior to that, I was the coordinator of the province. So, and I was working very closely with the national leadership because, as you, as you know, the EFF was established here in Gauteng. And um, the EFF has got massive support here in Gauteng. And we, we, we have been really working on the ground and making sure that we take um, advantage of that support that we have. And um, so it's, it's a huge responsibility, but I think it is the EFF that prepared me for this. Mm. And I think when, when, when the delegates were deciding who to take for this position, they also look at all those factors and said, mm. perhaps this um, a fighter can assume that role and perhaps can assist the organization. Yeah. There'll always be a big question uh, that you will have to answer for the next five years about who funds the EFF. I'm sure you are prepared for that. If you have been a treasurer in the, in the EFF yeah, for four sure. years, you'll be able to answer. You know, what criteria do you, do you put in place as the EFF to, to, to accept money from people? You, you, you heard your CIC talking about how captured the president is because, you know, we're, we're, we're at least in a position to know who gave him, uh, you know, millions or, you know, almost close to a billion rand, right? So what criteria, in your view, would you use? Because you are, you'll be the chief fundraiser, right? And there will be some dodgy people waiting to give you money. Who are you going to say no to? Who are you going to say yes to? No, they are the obvious ones, uh, JJ. I mean, mm -hmm. we are clear as the EFF that we stand for the marginalized, we stand for the poor. We are a socialist movement. So it's quite obvious that we will say no to open them. Actually, we've already said no to them. Uh, the to Rupert, to the, the Rupert. The, 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 I mean, the, 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 the capturers of, of, of this country, yeah. we, it's, it's, we've said no to them already. We, yeah. we are self-funding the organization and we are yeah. proud because we are the organization of the poor and we, we pride ourselves in that, that we, we, we are the only organization that is not captured and we're not going to be captured, never, not in the EFF. We are sober like that. We are clear of what yeah. we want. We are clear of our mission. We are clear of what we want to achieve. Yeah. And we, we are aware of the opportunists that would like to come along the way yeah. and want to derail us from our mission. Uh, we've got a captured ANC. We've got a captured president uh, who made our country to be captured itself. So we, we can't fall for that. I mean, I, we were, I was born here in South Africa in a country that is captured. So I can't... Be, how will I not detect that this one is capturing. Yeah. So we are clear like that. But more than anything else, you do know that there's a new legislation that is coming on board uh, that has been passed in Parliament that well, we need to declare anything declare over 100,000 yeah. needs to be declared. And um, I think in a year, over 12 million needs to be declared. So we're aware of those regulations and we will comply with the law like we've always been yeah. complying with the law. We are law-abiding citizens and we 
will continue to abide by the law. Look, I mean, theoretically, it's nice to say you are self-funding and so on, but the reality is... No, know, but we are. On a, on, yeah, honestly, we But are. the reality is that will never f fully fund all that you want to do. I mean, this conference cost 32 million. Please don't tell me all of it came from I the pockets of your members. I don't know if it cost 32 yeah. million. Well, what was also your treasurer, your former treasurer, uh, said in a press conference on Friday? Oh, she says okay. plus minus. Okay. But the point I'm making is, right, you got here, for example, a business lounge. Yes. Right? And you've got some cell phone companies here who are displaying or whatever else. They're exhibiting. They're exhibiting, etc. So it means that there's a, an association with some corporates already. So what I want to understand is, right, and, and, and if you, when you look at the history of EFF, you didn't particularly start on a rosy note, you know. What you, do you mean? Your registration was paid for by a corporate. Right? Well, Masoti, we live in a whoever. capital country. What must we do? Yeah. Capital dictator yeah. that we need but to... But what I'm saying, to, that's to why I'm ask, uh, ask the question, yes. right? What would be your criteria to reject? Somebody like Mazoti, who's an alleged smuggler of cigarettes and I don't know about Mazoti smuggling. Could have been the you know, first person it, to reject. You know that Mazoti is smuggling. I don't know that. I'm hearing from you. Who, who declared Mazoti that he's smuggling? I don't know. I see, so he's but clean. I, I, I don't know. I'm saying, I don't know, yeah, JJ. But, but surely you should. You're saying but you smuggling. took money from him, but you don't know. I don't know if he's smuggling. That's what I'm saying. Why well, not you know at least? So you can go and ask him if he's smuggling. I don't know that. I don't know yeah. if there's any court that declared him that he's smuggling. But that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's not... I'm saying the EFF mm. is self-funding. We've got councillors. Yeah. We've got MPs, we've got MPs that are contributing to the organization. Yes. And of course, we do go out and fundraise. Yeah. And we're not even apologetic about it, and we'll continue to do it. Yeah. We'll intensify our campaign in terms of fundraising. And I'm saying we are clear of who we are getting our money from. We're getting yeah. our money from the poor of the poorest. So your fundraising will be to the poorest, not to corporates. Are you going no, to accept we'll, we'll money even from approach corporate. the I mean, border comes of this well? That's we what did. I want to understand. So we did. When we went to this elections, May, 8 May elections, yeah. you do know that a telecom came to our gala dinner. Mm. Uh, they bought a table there in the, for, the, for the CIC that was um, um, But we're not going to go to Rupert and ask money from Rupert. Mm. We're not. But we were saying, we're selling tables. If Telcom wants to buy a table, they buy a table. Here is the exhibition. We invited uh, cell phone uh, service providers, yeah. and they are there. They're so coming. you'll accept money from SOEs that are busy bleeding? No, but SOEs is government. How do you accept money from government? Telcom is an SOE. Yeah, but Telcom is, is it's an SOE, yes, but they bought a table. It's, it's different from transnet donating money to the organization um, and it's, it's not it's not allowed you can't do that mm, i can't say i understand the difference what do you mean they it's so so, so we the, we add the telecom we, there we, in we, terms of how they we, get money transnet to does not uh, fund those things i've worked for transnet for mm -hmm. 11 years they don't fund political parties i don't know if you know if they do but we what i know does doing this uh, shame of a breakfast show for, for millions. I, I wonder what the difference is. And they had uh, exhibitions in Mangaung in the so, ANC's uh, business lounge that looks like yours here. What do you mean? The, the, what I'm saying is that SO is at the tendency to fund yeah. political parties. Well, Transnet has not funded us. And we will not go to Transnet and ask for mm. funding from us. Actually, we'll give them strategies of how to make sure that Transnet does not go the same route as SA is going. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll give them advice. So I want to, to talk a little bit about the SOEs later, but I want to just, okay. in this segment, just talk a little bit about the, 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 the just issue of funding and money and yeah. money exchanging hands, right? We've seen in other political parties, there's a big, always a big question mark about buying of votes, buying of delegates and so That hasn't come up a lot in the build up to this conference. How did you get that right? You've been treasurer, so it's not like you know, you're So you mean buying of the delegates here? Yes. Our, yes. our guidelines are very clear that uh, if there's any um, person who's found to be change of money, mm. that's, that's, a, that's an offense. Uh, mm. We would have contravened the guidelines and the organization will take steps against you. But I, I don't think there's anybody in the, in the EFF who... We, we are conscious of what we're doing, uh, JJ. Mm. We know what we want. We're not desperate to win positions. Mm. Uh, I've not come across anybody who would be dead, so desperate that they can even exchange money. I, I, yeah. I, I don't. I have not. Uh, I think we're conscious. I think we're all clear what we want to achieve. And our delegates also, they're not voting cows. They, they're sober. We, what we do, the first thing, when, immediately when we launch branches, just we conduct 
political education and make them aware what, yeah. what we stand for, what we seek to achieve. So that we are all on the same page. And the CIC spoke yeah. about the political school, I think it was in the press conference as well, that we need to intensify that, that uh, campaign of yeah. uh, spreading our wins across so that we, 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 we capacitate our, our, yeah. our members. It all, so, it all sounds fine, but how do you explain It's practical to and we're doing it. Yeah, all right, but how do you <laughs> explain that your predecessor yeah. right, stands up in public this morning and says, that the EFF needs an integrity commission. Who's my president? That's quite a dramatic. They are from former treasurer. Lian Matis? Yeah. Lian Matis? Yes. Um, uh, no, no, Moonsam. Sorry, Moonsam. It's, it's also a predecessor. I don't know. I, somebody yeah. spoke about it in a press conference. Yes. I didn't watch that. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 what, but what do you think of it? Is there, do you think you for you? You should have asked there, but why didn't you ask it? No, wait, wait, wait. I'm saying for you, do you think that that matter even arises, that the EFF already needs an integrity commission so, to look at how money exchange and to do there's that no money, money exchanging hands in the EFF JJ I don't know where there's no money exchanging hands no, but they address the, the suggestion of an integrity commission look, do you so think we're it's necessary to, we're going to be addressing yeah. suggestions of everybody right yeah. now as I stand here Monsami by the way used to be in my branch in yeah what 91 yeah. in one we come from the same branch yeah before I moved to what five yeah and her membership expired some time ago. I don't know if, he, <coughs> if she has re uh, renewed her membership. Yeah. I don't know because yeah. I left that branch. I went to another branch. I'm staying somewhere else. Yeah. So I don't know in uh, how we, she's speaking as what? So Monsami is going to speak. You are going to speak. Sarah Ramaphosa is going to speak. We must all the time entertain all those things. Monsami must come here and tell you what exactly she's saying and why she's saying that. Yeah. So you don't think, as a custodian, no, of there's the no exchange of money. I can but as tell a custodian you now. of funds of EFF, yes. you don't think that there's anything that would 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 require an integrity commission to 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 oversee how money is managed in the EFF. This so, is what so his it, is No, about. but it's very clear, JJ. Yeah. Uh, we are in municipalities, we are in legislatures, we are in parliament. Mm. We've got auditor statements every year. There's no way that the the legislature will release money if your statements are not audited. Mm. So w w which other exchange would come through? Because mm. the, the exchange would come through electronic, through the bank transfers and all yeah. those things. And those things are recorded. And w w why is the auditors not picking it up? Why is Monsami picking it up herself? How did she pick it up? She must come and tell us how did she pick it up. Right. Because we're being audited every year and our... our, our I want our to talk a little bit about that. In fact, talking about audited books, in terms of the current books that were presented at this Congress and so yeah. on. Are you happy with what's happening there? There were monies that have not been recovered and things like that. I know that you are new in your position, but I would like your view about that when you come back from the break. We're talking to the the new, newly elected Treasurer General of the Economic Freedom Fighters. Of course, we're coming to you live tonight uh, from the sidelines of the EFF's National People's Assembly. Stay tuned.